Mr. Speaker, presentation of the budget statement and economic policy of government. Barring any unforeseen development, the Minister responsible for finance on the authority of the President of the Republic is scheduled to present the business, uh, the budget statement for the year ending 31st December 2023 in accordance with Article 179 of the 1992 Constitution on Thursday, the 24th of November 2022. The Business Committee therefore urges members to take note and adjust the according calendar accordingly and be present in the House on the said date. So, Speaker, as per our practice, members are to have understanding of the budget to make meaningful contributions. Accordingly, there is supposed to be a post-budget workshop scheduled for Friday, 25th to Monday, the 28th of November, at the Volta Serene Hotel Hall in the Volta region. Members will be expected to check in on Friday, 25th November 2022. And the speaker here, the business committee emphasizes that members should be properly prepared and properly constituted to enable them to participate fully with every necessary tool. When you start your uh, presentation of the budget statement and economic policy, when you preface it with the words, bearing any unforeseen development, bearing any unforeseen development, the speaker constitutionally, we cannot tolerate any unforeseen development. You can breach the Public Financial Management Act, but you cannot breach the Constitution, Article 179. If on 24th November, the budget statement and economic policy is not presented, we will be in breach of the constitutional requirements. Count, count your days. Count your days. We are already in breach, Mr. Speaker. So don't lead us into any unforeseen circumstances. And Mr. Speaker, you know, you've been at the IPU with him. Even the IPU rules regarding budget oversight and scrutiny of budget. If you bring a budget on 24 November, how much time would we have to be able to do what we are expected to do as a house in terms of exercising oversight?